Hi guys, welcome to Readings with Christy. I'm just going to light some incense before we start. Always lets my guides know that I'm ready to work when I light some incense. So let's do that. So when you jump on, come in and say hello. Didn't work. So hi guys when you come in. Hey Margie. Hey Cat Cat. Just lighting some incense just to just to let my guides know I'm ready to work. I'm ready to connect. It's not really work, is it, when you love what you do? So as I say, guys, as you jump on, say hi. I'd love to see who's here. Hey, Libby. Hey, Jess. Hey, Carrie. Okay, so we're going to do some mini readings as always. Um, so those of you who don't know me, my name is Christy and I am a... Hey, Angela. Hey, Tony. Hey, Keely. Um, I am a psychic medium and a healer. Um, I've been doing it most of my life um, and I love what I do so um, so tonight I yeah I come on every Tuesday on here and we do some mini readings and we see what we can get for you I just got this crystal how cool is it it's a phantom can you see it's hematite in quartz it's beautiful Oh, first time. Welcome, Courtney. Welcome. Yeah, this one is like, you know, when you touch a crystal, you hold a crystal and it just goes so warm in your hands straight away. You know it's your crystal. Oh, the pendant, Angela. I've got, um, I think it's Asia, right? No, Kainai and Moonstone. So, yeah, it's pretty. Thank you. Um, you need healing, Peter. Yes, I think a lot of us do at the moment. I feel like it's really um, quite intense energy at the moment. I feel like there is a lot of intense energy around. Uh, people just not feeling themselves. I feel like there's a lot of um, frustration even on the roads. And yeah, I do. Um, yes, I have Moldavite Cat Cat, 100%. I just bought another piece of Moldavite and it cost me $170. For a tiny little bit because it's just so hard to get now thanks to um tiktok but yes larimer yes i have larimer on and i have turquoise on so lots of blues today lots of calm stones on today um i never really know why i choose what i choose to wear but um oh but it always makes sense in the end so oh what's happening here why won't it sit up stay there nicely Hopefully that'll stay. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Um, yeah, so I never really know. And I've got a little bit of um, kunzite. Does anyone know kunzite? You probably can't see, but it is quite purpley, like a lilac purple. It's quite pretty. Um, yeah, so I love my crystals and so forth. But yeah, this one here that I got, it is... Um, it's, it's a phantom quartz and it's a hematite in quartz. So it's actually quite um, beautiful. I know, so expensive, cat. It's ridiculous. and But, like, I just feel like we're not going to have the... It's not going to be accessible as, um, as it has been. So I feel like I had to buy it. I don't know why. I, I usually wouldn't spend that sort of money um, on, on, yeah, a little tiny piece of Moldavite. Uh, but... And yeah, it's from a reputable source and you know, I, I have to admit my life changed when I used it So and for the better um, Really brought a lot of truth into my awareness and made me You know really sort of um, Get going with what I had to get going with so it's it's one of the stones that I'll never forget So, you know, how can you put a price on that really so? All right, so um Angela, you want to buy a pendulum? Yes, I have pendulums. If you do want to buy one, just message me. I have lots of pendulums. 
um, lots of different ones. Um, this one is so soda light, I believe. Um, but yeah, I've got quite a few, so I sell them from time to time. Time, yeah, an investment, absolutely, Carrie, absolutely. So um, yes, it definitely is an investment moldavite at the moment. Um, yeah, so I do work a lot with spirit. Uh, I do communicate with um, the spirit world quite often, um, and they come up in readings if you know the client wants to connect with them. Um, I'm pretty sure I haven't let anyone down yet. Um, but yeah, on this platform, I don't bring them through unless they want to come through. So you know, because we're on a time restraint, um, yeah, it's just probably not the platform to start calling people through. But certainly if they are here, I say, I do bring messages through. So, um, so yeah, I do my best. All right, so let's see. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so I'm just going to go to whatever cards um, I am drawn to. I've got several sets around me, um, and I'm just going to go to whatever I am drawn. That is the best way to work, I believe. <laughs> so let's see how we go. All right. Just connecting in now. Just connecting in cold tonight in Melbourne right very cold your father passed eight years ago Peter wow yeah my father's been gone for 11 I think it is maybe 12 this year gosh I can't remember I think it was 2000 and 2009 yeah I think it's 2009 so I think it'll be but it's in December so I think it's 12 years in December um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's tough, isn't it, losing parents? It's not something that seems normal as such, is it, right? So, um, but yeah, as I say, guys, I am a medium psychic and a healer. Um, I do lots of different modalities. I do whatever I'm drawn to do um, and absolutely love what I do. But um, please note, you can book in for a full reading, obviously, full healings, um, things like that. I'm in Melbourne. Um, but we do distant healings and readings, so you can do it from basically anywhere. Um, I'm getting my website up and running, which is where you'll be able to book from very shortly. Uh, but at the moment, it's just message me at the moment. So, um, so if you do want a full reading, or I do half an hour and an hour session um, for healings or readings. So if you do want a full session after this, um, or any time in the next week or two, um, definitely give me a send me a message and we'll get you booked in. So um, I would love to do a more in depth reading for anyone that actually feels like they need it. Um, so let's get started with just some um, just some mini readings. As I say, I'm not going to um, call through any spirit, but obviously if they are here, I will bring through whatever I get. Um, but for now, I'm just going to draw a card for whoever I'm drawn to. So um, that's how we're going to work tonight. All right, Hayley Marie, I'm firstly drawn to you. Let's see what comes up. Let's pin your comment. Okay, so what does Hayley... Hayley, I feel a bit fuzzy. Are you confused about a decision? I feel like I need to make a decision. Um, I feel like I'm getting a bit hot and flustered and I feel a bit like... Not dizzy, just a bit clouded. I don't know if that's for you or someone close to you, um, but I just feel a bit like overwhelmed, I guess, maybe is the right word to use, right word to use. Um, yeah, I just feel like a bit, whew. And then I don't know if you know someone that might be getting a ring too, Hayley. There's something about a ring. I don't know if someone loses a ring or someone's getting a ring, but they're showing me a diamond ring. Um, so yeah, please note that that is also coming up. Um, hey, Julia. Hello. Um, okay, so Haley, what I get for you is creative wonderment. So it says follow your passion. So do what you love. It seems like you're not fully up the stairs yet. So when I when I talk about being up the stairs, it's like this is where you're 
born to be like this is where we we aim to be at that top pinnacle of our purpose and then it's like you're only a couple of steps up so it's like you know you've got so much more to experience you've got so much more to endeavor and endure and you know there's some there's some trials and tribulations along the way but overall this is saying follow do what you love um do what you love and i feel like you know there's I do. I feel like there is a, there is either a big decision or one that is going to come up. Um, I don't feel like it's in regards to, I feel like it's something more serious. So it might be like career, work, um, maybe study or learning, but there's something about, yeah, making a big decision like do I or don't I? Do I or don't I? That's how I feel it's coming up. Um, the next one that comes up for you is uh, friendship. So great time to celebrate um, with friends, nurture your friendship, your friendships and all relationships. Um, so this is about really sort of bringing those that you love together and sort of uh, getting into a celebration mode of enjoying each other and doing things together. Um, now, the other card that I pulled for you is an opportunity arises. Oh, my ears are burning. Someone must be talking about me. They're burning. Um, it says, an opportunity arises that needs your attention right away. Moving quickly is important, yet there is nothing you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance. So really, really, really important that uh, you follow your inner guidance. The dolphin's a beautiful, beautiful animal, and it really is all about the calm, but being able to achieve things, not by, um, you know, needing recognition, permission, or any sort of thing about, um, you know, needing someone's approval to do things. So, you know, they do it gracefully, and they do it the way they want to do it. So, and it's telling me you're very passionate, charismatic, and confident, and also might be feeling a little bit restless. Um, so again, that decision making, or something's coming up that really sort of um, indicates there might be some yeah, decisions coming up to make. Um, but yes, I think that you will be absolutely fine. And I feel like there is, um, like I say, there's something about, um, you know, taking a risk. This is like becoming braver. So resilience, experience, growing stronger and fresh perspective. So it's like, you know, wiping the board clean or wiping the slate clean and seeing things through fresh eyes. Um, but there is something about a ring. I don't know if someone's lost a ring or if there's someone get, get, getting a ring, um, but they are showing me a diamond ring. So I don't know if someone's getting engaged or married married or someone's lost a ring but um, just keep an eye out for that that might be coming if you don't know anything about it just yet because they're showing me it as clear as day um, and I want to say there's um, a, some sort of leaflet or advertisement that you have um, so I don't know if this is for a house or for so it's something you're looking to um, indulge in um, so it's like a, a leaflet or a brochure that comes up so just keep an eye out for that as well Hayley um, and there's something about real estate real estate real estate real estate um so yeah i don't know what that is but that's coming up as well so just keep an eye at it maybe for you or someone close to you but they're the things that i'm seeing when i'm in your energy so i just ask you to hold them close if you don't know what i'm talking about just yet um but if you um do then yeah i hope it brings you a little bit of clarity so all right let's see and thank you for letting me read for you Haley. Um, really, really appreciate your energy and um, yeah, there's something about your energy that's just very, um, very graceful. You don't need a lot of attention um, put on you. So yeah, I love that. So you get things done, but you don't need an audience. Um, Lisa Fuss, let's see what comes up for you. I have this little bug around me. Um, hi, Christy. Is my gut feeling right or am I wrong this time? I feel like you're a bit of both. I feel like you're right but not all right. So not everything is correct of what you think. Um, let me pull a card for you anyway, Lisa. Um, I want to say that you're not fully wrong but you're not fully right. So I don't know if you've attached some story onto it. Um, or there's, you know, more to the story that you don't. Oh, you're welcome, Hayley. Thank you. Really appreciate you joining and, and participating and letting me read for you, of course. Um, yeah, Lisa, I feel like there's been, there's either someone's put a story on this, maybe yourself or maybe someone else, or it's like a, a bit, I, I just want to say it's sort of grown out of proportion. I want to say that I feel like things have got out of um, proportion. So um, not fully right, but not fully wrong. Yeah, that's what I'm sort of feeling. And uh, yeah, I want to say, don't believe everything you're told. 
Mm. Okay, so you've got the resilience, so it's rise above the tribulation, so rising above anything that comes your way in regards to challenges or things that haven't actually worked out. It's saying, you know, you've got a lot of resilience. You've had to build up resilience and you've been through the mill. Um, but it's like no more time to put yourself through... Um, it's not it's not a time to keep putting yourself through the same thing all the time so it's time to cut some cords to old patterns or old ways of doing things this is saying you've built resilience which means you've learnt the lessons and you actually know that you know um there's a better way to do it or there's a different way to do it so don't keep going down the same path of going oh, sh i knew better or i shouldn't have done that or i knew i shouldn't have done that um and the other card you got is the leopard so all your life experiences have prepared you for this very moment of truth it's time to declutter your home clear away situations that are no longer working for you anymore and let go of anything that emotionally that emotionally causes more drama than happiness um, so this is about letting go of you know people situation things that are not causing you um, are causing you more drama and grief than happiness and joy so you know try and sort of um, differentiate that and it's not to say there won't be a grieving process to that there definitely will but it will also be you know a great thing for you to do so it's like I want to say clear out the cobwebs clear out the old clear out the old um, and the other card you've got is investigate. So it's look more closely at the situation. Ask more questions and think before acting. So don't act on emotion. I want to say act from a place of um, strength, composure and um, knowledge. Okay, so it's not about going through, um, uh, what do you call it, like... Uh, not about reacting through emotions, okay? So it's really sitting back and going, what, what is it I want from this? What am I going to do here? This is like a big thing. Like it's not something to be taken lightly. So I want to just say do things from your heart, but don't do things from an emotionally fueled space. So take some time just to sort of, um, yeah, look, look, look from a different perspective, I guess. So... <laughs> All right, so I hope that helps you, Lisa, and I wish you all the very best. And I think that, um, yeah, I think that you've been through stuff. And I just want to say, you know, I'd love to be able to cut those cords for you, but no one can do it but you, Lisa. But I want to say beautiful soul, big heart, but being, being tampered on too much, I want to say it keeps getting like, why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep doing this? That's the sort of, uh, you know, uh, energy that I'm getting through. Um. All right. Oh. Gina. Carbone. I hope that makes sense, Lisa. I hope you understood what I was trying to say there, and I hope that it does give you give you a little bit of clarity. But you're very welcome. Um, yeah, and I hope that it does bring you some sort of, uh, you know, clarity in, in what to do. So I hope it helps. Okay. Thank you, Chloe. Yes, I was just saying it's... Um, Kyanite and Moonstone. So, but thank you. Yes, it's pretty. It is pretty. Thank you very much. Um, okay, uh, Jania, uh, Carbone. Let's see. Are you still on Jania? Sorry, I thought it said Gina. I'm very, very sorry. Uh, sorry, Wendy, I'm not sure if you just heard me, but it's Moonstone and uh, Kyanite. I thought it was Asiarite, but it's not. It's Kyanite. Kyanite and uh, Moonstone. So, Yes, it's very warm, so it's it's definitely um, doing its thing, which is great. Um, Jania, just let me know if you're still on, lovely, and then I can pull a card for you. If not, oh, you're welcome, Lisa. I'm so glad that, that you can understand exactly what I'm saying, so thank you. Um, yeah, Carrie, I keep getting patience. I will pull a card for you. Um, but yeah, I don't think I've said that it's a go as yet, um, because it's, it's just about patience at the moment. So, um, we'll see this week what comes up, but there is definitely something about, um, staying patient. It's not the right, the right thing hasn't come up yet. So, 
but let's we'll see we'll see keep reminding me keep putting the comments up so i don't forget but i will come to you um okay jenea i hope i'm saying that right jenea let me know if i'm not um I, at first I, I looked quickly and i thought it said uh, uh gina but i think it says jenea i hope i'm pronouncing that right um if i'm not i apologize Is it someone's anniversary of a... Of, or did someone let balloons go? Is it someone's... I don't know if it's someone's birthday or someone let balloon. They're showing me balloons being let up to the sky. Um, and I want to say Geelong. Geelong cats, maybe? Geelong? I don't know if it's Collingwood or Geelong. It's like a dark colour and white. So it's either Collingwood or Geelong. Um, so it would be somebody that... Um, Barracked for them. I don't know what's going on. They showed me like balloons being released, and like I say, it's a dark colour and white, like a football scarf. So I don't know if it is uh, navy blue or whether it is black. So that I can't dis distinguish, and I can't see it anymore to, to look a bit further. Um, hello, Wendy. Hello, hello. Um, so let me know if there's something connecting that. There'd have to be both of those. Oh, you have a Geelong tattoo, Marianne. Yeah, it'd have to be something connecting uh, both. So it would be something to do with that as well as um, as well as the balloons or having um, released balloons. Yes, absolutely, Kat. I can do. Um, I can definitely do uh, Reiki for you, Crystal. If you do. Um, if you do decide that's what you'd like, it is obviously um, really great for exploring your, uh, your uh, spirituality. I nearly said sexuality. It's not about that. No. Um, but, you know, it does. It does. It opens you up to be in touch with who you are spiritually, um, emotionally. It really does. Like, I've always been, um, you know, psychic and always sort of um, been able to speak to people that have passed. And I never really knew what it was when I was younger. And... Um, as I grew up, I sort of obviously understood it a bit more and so forth. And I think I've told a lot of you my, um, uh, how do you book with me, Angie? You just send me a message, lovely. My page is on there. So the, the link is in the description. Just join the page and then you can message me from there. So, um, I'd love to do a reading for you. Um, yeah, so, uh, my, yeah, my Nana and her sisters were very famous tea leaf readings in Scotland, in the UK. Um, but my mum skipped the generation because she was very, very scared. Um, but anyway, I, I was always sort of gifted that way. And my mum was always like, well, how do you know this? And oh, my goodness, and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, everyone kept talking about Reiki, Reiki, Reiki. And I was like, hmm, okay. And then I just sort of kept putting it off. And then I actually decided one time, you know what? I'm going to do Reiki. I, I want to know what all the fuss is about. What's this Reiki about? And um, I did Reiki and oh my God, it is phenomenal, um, phenomenal. So um, yeah, it, it's, it, it's, you can't explain it. Like uh, it's just like the cherry on the top. It really is. It really does open you up to so many, so many doors. But um, anyway, I'll keep going. Uh, Jania, I'm sorry to sort of interrupt your reading, but you got the peacock. So it's raise your standards. So wherever you think you're meant to be or wherever you've put yourself to be, it's like, you know, you can raise your standards. You can do more than one thing. So this isn't about just doing one thing or being in one sector. It's like, you know, you can be in many, many sectors. Um, I see a lot of motorbikes. So I don't know if there's motorbikes around you or someone's buying a motorbike around you, but I see motorbikes bikes um there and also like a leather jacket so i don't know if someone's got a leather jacket but um there's something about that uh being significant as well um there's something about um a young boy they keep bringing through a young boy or a boy when he was younger they're showing me a young boy young boy why are you bringing through a young boy um anyway i'll keep going with your cards but i i, I am telling you what i'm saying and i'm saying like a young boy so um And there is a name also coming through. I don't know if this is from the spirit world or living, but it's either like Stefan or Stephen, um, something in that section. So let me know if any of that makes sense to you. Um, I want to say that, yeah, it's an S name and it's like Stefan or Stephen. Um, got a lot of energy going on, Jania. Um, I want to say you're very powerful. You're a lot more powerful than what you're actually um, very, uh, how can I say, like, um, hmm. 
Gosh, there's a lot of energy going on here. Um, you you can be very passive, uh, like submissive, like, but you can also be very like uh, fiery. You've got that two sides to you. Um, it's like don't mess with you, but like you know the biggest heart as well. So you've got those two sides to you, which is uh, brilliant. But there's something about family that doesn't make sense to me. There's something going on um, with family, and I see an older woman, and there's like a big uh, dining table. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about, too, Janine. I don't want to keep going on if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but there is something about like a big, big, long, um, like a brown table. Um, and there's something about like lots of food going on. Um, and it's like uh, celebrations. And this older woman is very uh, set in her ways, very... Um, uh, how can I say, like very black or white, very like this is how it is. Um, and, uh, yeah, I see a cross, I see a cross. Um, so there's a lot of stuff coming through for you, Janine. I'm not sure if it's for you or someone close to you, um, but this is what is uh, coming through. And there's something about buying an investment um, or investing money. So please know that that is there. Um so let me know if any of that makes sense to you. I don't know if this is for you or someone else, but this is all this is all just flooding through. So I will continue to read your cards, but let me know if um, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, okay, so the next one is the Forest Spring. So it's time to kick back, relax, and celebrate all that you have. <clears throat> excuse me um joy arises from success in your career and completion of a project or a very happy home life i don't know if someone's getting their face or hair done this or someone's going into beauty um but there's a sense of um someone getting make like i just see like someone getting a face like put on like makeup um, so let me know if that makes any sense to you as well. It might be for an occasion or it might be um, someone that does it for a living, but it's definitely coming through. Um, so it's basically saying time to um, take some time out, spend with family, get away, um, celebrate all you have. And there's something about someone being really good with music or singing or like a, I see a guitar and uh, singing. Um, so it's like, you know, just you don't need anything too fancy. It's just like, you know, um, down to earth sort of fun, which is great. Um, and the next one is grace. So it's like, hold yourself with grace. And it's like, you know, allow yourself, you're very graceful, but, um, you know, it's, it's about really sort of embracing that. I want to say, be aware of something around the stomach area. Okay. So it's around that, uh, solar plexus area where it comes up with a little bit of a blockage there. Um, this can be bloating, digestive issues, um, anything in the lower tummy region. So either for you or someone close to you but it's like keep doing things the way you know how to do them um and i want to say reflux is going to be an issue for someone as well so or like indigestion or something there's something like coming up and down so um please note that that's there as well so i hope that helps you jania um i haven't seen your comments so i'm not sure if it made sense to you but hopefully it does um and anything that doesn't i just say hold open because obviously some of this stuff is for your future um and you know Sometimes we don't know what's going to happen. And then people message me going, oh, my God, that just happened. Um, and they just left like an hour ago. So it's always interesting. But thank you for letting me read for you, lovely. I really, really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I hope that uh, you can take something away from that. Um, Tara, let's see what comes up for you. Tara, Tara, Tara. Okay. Oh, Natasha, what are you so confused with? What's what's confusing you, Natasha? Let me know a little bit more and we can pull a card and get some insight if you like. Um, Tara, I got the end of a career path project or relationship brings feelings of mixed joy and sadness, relief and disappointment, but it's time to put aside your fears about these changes and trust that the universe has a brighter future that awaits you. Um, so there is a sense of things coming to an end or things not going in the direction you may have hoped or at the speed you may have hoped. But this is sort of saying this is all because there's a much bigger plan out there for you. You just haven't seen it yet. 
And the next one is dragons. So it's going to take a bit of courage to get through the next couple of weeks, um, you know, even maybe the next month. But there is something about, you know, wanting to get away or needing to get away. But there is a sense of, you know, not doing it because you're under duress. It's like... Um, doing it because it's the right thing to do and you're a hundred percent sure of it so i want to say to you don't pick up and move yet there is a time and it says that you will be going um but maybe not either in the time frame you'd like or at the place you'd like but you are definitely going somewhere um and they definitely say that you need to have a bit of patience and deal with stuff here first and then things will start to make more sense um, the other card is the star card. So it says hard times are going to be over soon. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm and some positivity. So um, this is a really cool card. One of the best in the deck. Um, the star card, it means positive long-term outlook. It means, um, you know, things are going to be great on the bigger scale. The bigger picture looks really, really good. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a great place to be and a great card to get to end it. So and thank you, Tara, for letting me read for you. I want to say just be aware of thyroid. I don't know if this is for you or someone close to you, but they took me to the throat area. Um, and also like um, sinus or cold. Um, so I keep getting like uh, sinus or cold. So just hold on to that, Tara, but there's something there about that. Um, Naomi. Who do I need to focus on helping? What's my next step? Hmm. What's your next, what's next step? Naomi, Naomi, Naomi. Hmm. I've got a male figure coming through for you, Naomi. It's a strong male presence coming through. Oh, you're welcome, Tara. Most welcome. Thank you for letting me read for you. Um, Naomi, I feel like there's a male presence here, very strong male presence that is not saying anything, but I can feel him over my shoulder just here. Um, so, yes, it's quite interesting, quite interesting. Um, but, yes, let's see what cards comes up for you. I don't know who it is, uh, possibly father, grandfather, um, uncle, but it is it is a strong male. Um, do you, do, is there someone that has, um, or may, I don't know if it's been diagnosed or anything, but is there something about ADHD or something about a, a f finding out what's going on? I feel like I want to say f finding out what's going on. Oh, stepdad. Okay, yeah, right. Okay, he's just passed away. That may be why he's not communicating with me. Sometimes when they've just recently passed, they don't know how to communicate properly. Um, so they will just stand there. So that makes perfect sense. I want to say head injury as well or headaches. There's something about pain in my head just now. Um, so please note that that's also come through. Um, and yeah, I want to say something about um, something needs to be diagnosed or awaiting test results. But I feel like it's um, not anything serious or, or like nothing to be worried or concerned about. But it is like um, there's something about waiting on results or finding out what's going on with one of the kids. I don't know if that's for you or someone close to you, but that's what's coming up with the, the kids um, or one of the kids. Um, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know that that's also coming up. Um, the next one is knowledge. So seek knowledge. This is about going down a different path. This is about learning all you can. Um, it is about, you know, um, it can be studying. It can be learning in a new job. It can be um, doing something new and exciting. That's what I want to say to you. There's something new and exciting there. And there is something about um, bringing you closer to your dreams and goals, which is always great. Um, and there's something about working from home. Um, so there's something about having the flexibility to work from home i think it's from home or work within flexible hours is what they're saying so i don't know if you need specific hours but it's like flexible hours working out um and the next one is the love of the love and care of children could become an important part of your life or people from your childhood may return into your life old memories can be healed or possibly old childhood dreams are ready to be revived so this is where, you know, when we're younger, we want to be this or we want to do that. And we don't, 
you know, get there at some point. This is sort of saying there can be some sort of reignition from the past. So either someone's coming back um, or something like an old memory or something like that. So, and then you've got the leopard card. So it says all of your life experiences have prepared you for this very moment of truth. It's time to declutter your home, clear away any situations that are no longer working for you anymore and disengage from people who may create more drama than happiness. So it is saying like just keep your... Um, and keep your circle small. Don't get too um, broadened by others, I want to say. Um, and I want to say there are a couple of people that haven't got the best intention. You don't know them well, but you know them well enough to stay away. So, um, yeah, I feel like there's they're, they're standing afar, but they're still there. Um, two in particular, actually. Um, so, yeah, so just know that that's there, Danielle. Uh, sorry, Naomi. And I hope that that makes um, some sort of sense for you. And if it doesn't, just hold it over. Open. Um, and I want to say um, somebody needs you somebody needs your support so you're great at holding space so you might find like um, someone comes to you and they need you to just hold space for them it's not about fixing it it's not about um, making the problem uh, go away but it is about holding space and knowing that you're there that's going to be key so don't try and fix it it's like a chain being broken sometimes it's just you can't you can't put it back to its natural strength. Um, so don't don't try and fix it. It's like, you know what, it's broken. Let's deal with what's going on around that. Um, that's going to be the key to, to the next, you know, next part of your journey is to learn how to do that and just hold space because that's part of the healing process. You might think you're not doing enough, but let me tell you, you are doing more than enough. So don't take on the pressures of everyone else's stuff. It's like, Deal with it bit by bit, time by time, day by day. Oh, I'm crying right now. Everything you've said is so... Oh, hang on. You've answered more than you know. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome, Naomi. Thank you. I didn't see any messages coming through, so I was hoping you were still on and you're listening, but um, that really warms my heart to hear that. So thank you very much for your feedback. Much, much appreciated. Um, and thank you for letting me read for you. I hope you're okay. And I hope it gives you some sort of clarity and something to move forward towards. So wishing you all the very best and sending much love and healing your way. Hey, Connie. Hello. Hi, lovely. Belinda Mackey, you sent me stars. I'll have to do a reading for you, of course. Um, Belinda, is there anything you'd like in particular or is it just... Um, yeah, absolutely, Naomi, and you're more than welcome to do that. I was just like, I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, but, yeah, some, it, there's a bit of a delay as well. So, no, you're not meant to write anything. I wanted you to take it all in and, you know, you, you need to absorb because it was a lot of stuff, a lot of information. So, um, you know, take it in just bit by bit, day by day. Don't put too much pressure on yourself would be my advice. So, um, okay, Belinda, let me know if you're still here, lovely. And um, if you want a card, let me know. Um, if you want it about something specific, um, I can do that. Um, if I don't hear from you in a couple of minutes, I might do someone else and then come back to you um, because Facebook has this wonderful delay system that is just a bit annoying sometimes on a live. Um, let me have a drink. If I haven't heard back, then I'll come back. All right. Ah, oh, Marianne, what does CA mean? I don't know what that means. Um, okay. Hey, Karen. Hey, Belinda. Okay, I'm just going to keep... I'm going to go to Jolene. Let me do a card for you, Jolene. Um, and see what comes up for you. All right. Jolene, I want to say I want to get back in your body. Oh, okay, Belinda. Yeah, absolutely. Let me do that for you in just a moment. I will do that for you. Um, Jolene, I want to say, I want to say, I want to say, I want to say, get back in your body. There's a sense of being too much up in your head. Um, there might be some overthinking, overanalyzing. Um, you know, there's just maybe too much going on. 
um, and you're not in your body, I want to say it's time to ground yourself. I want to say just go and ground yourself. Like I feel like I'm repeating and repeating and it's like um, because it's just a lot of noise in my head right now. So I don't know if that's how you're feeling or that's what's coming, but that is how I feel in your energy, which means that it needs to be grounded. Um, so keep a, keep an eye out for any lower back pain, hips, um, anything around the groin, hips, lower back area, like a big band around. That's our uh, root chakra. And there is a sense of, um, you know, that being a little bit out of whack. So get that back into... Um, into interaction so you know going out in the garden breathing some fresh air in going for a walk any sort of movement dance sort of anything like that will get you back in your body and stop you sort of creating a more chaos in the head so um i feel like have you is there something about relationships that's uh, that's um been a bit hard for you jolene um i want to say like um feeling like i've been blanked or not heard um, and I don't feel, um, yeah, I don't feel completely honoured by this person. So there's a sense of me questioning what I'm doing in relationships or questioning what, what's going on in the relationship. So I, I don't know um, if this is something you understand or, but yeah, that's the sort of uh, energy that I'm getting. Um, mm, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thanks, Jolene. Thank you for your confirmation. Much appreciated. Um, so the cards I got for you was confrontation. So it's time to confront your demons. It's time to confront your past. It's time to confront anything and everything that doesn't um, doesn't warrant in your life anymore, that's not needed anymore. Um, so pick your battles wisely. You know, it, it might feel like sometimes it never rains, but it pours when we're in like, um, you know, having bad days or we're not getting along with people or whatever, the ha whatever you know, whatever's sort of going on. Um, it definitely is about, you know, choosing your battles wisely because, you know, you are the life of the party. You are a beautiful soul. And it's like, you haven't been shining through properly. Like you haven't felt that sense of I want to shine through and show people who I really am. It's sort of like I'm hiding and I'm doing what I have to just to get by. So there's a sense of I want to see you shine again. I want to see you come to life again because it's all within you and don't let anybody define what's going on within or externally for you. Um, there's no more need for uh, permission or um, approval from anyone. So it's like, you know, do you, Jolene? I want to say, do you? Um, um, you know, there was a damn song made about you, like, or your name. So it's like, you know, that is all about, that. there's power in that, right? So I'm just, you know, being a bit funny. But, um, you know, there is power in your name. There is power in who you are. And there is power in what you choose to do with this, at this very moment. Um, you don't have to wait till tomorrow. You can make a decision right now to, to choose power over, you know, uh, hermitizing yourself or hermitizing who you are or not speaking up. Um, so confront confrontation is important to confront those uh, past stuff, but it's not to enrage the fire. It's to put it out, let it simmer out and put it out. Um, and the next one is the right way. So learning to create what you desire. So it's like I've been doing things, I've been going in a hamster wheel and it's not working out the way I'd hoped and I don't know why. So it's coming to a conclusion of I'm at a crossroads, I don't know what to do. I'm done. I throw my hands up and I'm done. Um, but it is saying, just learn to do things differently. Breathe, ground yourself, and things will start to open up for you. And the next one is, now. now's your moment to step up into a leadership role. Don't back away from the spotlight, as your plans will be successful, so long as you stay focused upon the big picture. So how many times... There's confirmation. How many times do you need confirmation? Um, this is beautiful, Jolene. You've got so much com confirmation that, you know, you are a natural born leader. And when you're not in your natural state of being, which is that leadership and that strong and that shining soul, then obviously, you know, it, it makes you feel out of sorts. So if you're feeling out of sorts, it's time to change. It's time to shift things back into gear, put yourself into drive and start your moving forward because you're sitting in neutral is just... It's like, got to go. Um, and there's no rush either, right? So you're not, don't put any pressure on yourself to get there in a, in a hurry. Just start the car. Just put it in drive and start the movement. That's all you need to do right now. But I want to say you're a beautiful soul and the past doesn't define where you're going or who you are. I want to say you've got a spiritual third eye that can open up and you can do a lot more with that um, that will guide you in 
to your next phase, your next journey. There's a lot of endings happening for you, Jolene, but that's because there's new beginnings on the way as well. Um, so I hope that helps, Jolene, and I wish you all the very, very best. All right, Carrie, let's see what comes up for you. Is there a child or is there a, is there a child you need to care for, Carrie? Or is someone having a child? I feel like there's a late birth of a child or a child is, I don't know, there's something about this. Um, I'm not sure why it's coming up, but it is coming up. Um, and this one is, uh, I'll just read the cards to you anyway. I'm not sure if it is for you or not, but it is coming. Um, manage to be glad. Create your own happiness regardless of your conditions. So it's not letting those conditions uh, define your day, define your mood, define what happens, define what your work is, define what the outcome is. It doesn't define who you are. Make your own happiness in the conditions you're in. Um, and I would say don't make any hasty decisions right now to let go because you'll be angry at yourself that you did. It's like I've got to stick this out, but I've got to set my intentions right. You can't get the, the lesson in all of this is not to get caught up in your head about what's going on now. It's about keeping your eye on the prize. It's about what is it that I want and how am I going to get there? Setting intentions and keeping a clear vision is going to help you immensely. But if you get stuck in this, I don't want to be there, I hate this, it means that you haven't learned that lesson yet. So it's just going to stay there until you do. And this is why the burden is there. It's a burden for you. Um, but manage to be happy. It's your choice. It's not they don't have that ability to have... Um, that hold over you or your emotions. So you do though. That's the great thing is you do. And the next one is go with the flow. So let things happen in their own time. So I know, you know, when we want something to happen or we're eager to find out what's going on and we get told patience, it's frustrating, right? But it's saying go with the flow and let things happen in their own time because, you know, when you learn that lesson, when you set that intention, you will start to ride the wave. Right now, you're just getting dumped, dumped in the water, dumped in the water. It's like, you know, you need to stop that dumping, stop the dumping. Um, we're going to get up and ride that, ride that wave is the next step. So, and then your other one is your vision, creativity and dedication to your cause or work have brought you to great success. In fact, it may be in your best interest to get a partner to assist you in your endeavors or have someone support you more than what has been. It's time to expand and the number of people helping you will increase. There is more to this than meets the eye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Oh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. What does that mean? Carrie, what would what, what you I hate the... Oh, I don't hate. I don't hate anyone or anything. But I dislike that there's such a lag because then I forget what I've said as to what you're answering. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure what, that, what you're particularly responding to. But I hope that gives you some sense. But learn the lesson. Learn the lesson. And when you do and you, and you don't become as, you know uh frustrated in in where you're at or wanting to get out of it so quick eagerly it's like you know what can i do whilst i'm here like can i make the most of it because this is part of strength right is to make the best out of a bad situation or to see the bright side or to see the rainbow amongst the storm you know it is really you know a bit cliche but it's true um and yeah by the ways yeah 100 percent. it's like you know um Yes, getting dumped in the waves. Yeah, every day you wake up and say, I don't want to do this, is another day you get dumped in that wave. So what about if tomorrow, um, what about if tomorrow, I don't know if you've seen it on my page, but the um, the heart chakra, um, like intention setting that I put on my page today. Try that tomorrow when you wake up. Take away all the other thoughts and worries. Do the heart chakra. And see what comes about. I guarantee you, you will, you will get so much more from it. I think, yeah, I think you will. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Um, okay, Shannon Westover. Are you writing a book, Shannon? Just saw a book. Or are you reading something important? There's just a book that came up. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. 
Um, okay, so, 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 so. Yes, you saw that. Awesome. Yeah, I would definitely, um, I would definitely wake up tomorrow and do that, or even do it tonight before you go to bed. Um, Natasha, it's a no. Be going back for the wrong reasons. But it's obviously up to you to choose. Like it's just that's just my initial response is that it will end the same way as it did before. But um and I hope it doesn't. Like I don't want to come across and sound like, you know, it's a really bad thing. Um, but it's like, you know, I want to say don't do it to fill voids or um, you know, whether it be he's lonely or you're lonely or both lonely, it's like that's not there's something about it not being a good mix. You're better people apart. So, but look, you need to do what's right for you too, lovely. It's not It's not for me to sort of jump in and tell you what to do. I can only give you what the guidance that's coming through. Um, and I wish for better news, but unfortunately there's something about short term um, and uh, same way, like same pattern. So things happening the same way. Um, okay, so Shannon, you got um, unicorn, so invite serendipity. So it's like, you know, that serious side of you, the practical side that you love and that, you, that gets you through the days. It's like letting go of all of that every now and again and getting into the magical sense of what if it did happen? Not that'll never happen or I don't know how that's going to happen or when is that going to come? Like letting go of the practical answers and just letting things be. So setting intentions and letting them be. Um, this is about, you know, really sort of uh, being whimsical and stepping into your feminine power. This is about leadership. This is about, um, you know, really sort of uh, getting out there and, and doing what you need to do. I feel like I want to say girl power. Like, I don't know why, but that's what I want to say to you. Uh, the next one is impossible things. So working through the disbelief, imaginative leaps and fresh perspective. So again, very much so similar um, cards. They always mean the same sort of thing, I guess, but they're from three different decks. Um, and so this is quite uncanny when it comes up with the same message. So again, working through any disbelief that you have, um, anything that's sort of telling you that you can't or that's not going to happen or I'll never have that or I won't do this or, you know, even if it's subconsciously, it's time to sort of sweep those messages from, you know, from your from your brain. It's like, let's let that go. Um, there's a sense of, uh, you know, feeling a bit emotional unnecessarily or not really knowing why, um, but there's a need to release. There's a need to release it. Yep, need to to release is what they're saying um and there's something about nan or nana um i don't know if um someone in spirit is trying to connect with her or this is someone in spirit but i just heard the word nana um and um i saw a little cardigan so that's all i've seen is a little white cardigan but that's it doesn't have to be exactly what i see but that's how i that's basically what I saw when I said that so I'm not sure what that's about but that's there as well um and there is a sense of like uh going shopping or um going to the shops um uh, something about that being significant um And there's something about milk. I don't know what the milk is, but it's like significant to have this specific milk. Um, mm, and my eyes are so very tired. So I don't know if you're feeling a bit tired, Shannon, but there's something about feeling a little bit uh, more tired than usual. Um, and the next one is your responsibilities may distract you from noticing all the gifts that the universe is presenting to you. Be open to investigating those opportunities that come your way. So it's like not um, letting them go. It's like, you know, and this is about increased finances as well, Shannon. I want to say um, finances increase and it's not about asking how or when or whatever. If you don't know, it's about just believing that it will. Um, there's a sense of knowing knowing your third eye or your intuition is there but not believing it enough to make it come to fruition so this is like it's time to believe it's time to start in it visualizing what you want your opportunities are coming but unfortunately you may not be seeing them because you're distracted um, and this can be distracted with doubt it can be distracted with fear it can be distracted because you're busy um, there's so many different things that that could mean but it's ultimately it's saying you're not hearing what we're trying to give you uh, or you're not seeing what we're trying to show you either way um, so I hope that helps you, but I feel like you've got a really 
big opportunity and there's something about getting away to the beach i don't know if this is for you or someone uh close to you but there is a sense of uh going to the beach so not sure what that is shannon but i needed to give it to you so i wish you all the very best and something about being on a computer screen so i don't know if you work on a computer screen or there's a need um i just see a laptop um or a computer screen so um i'm not sure what that is either but that's coming up also so i hope that helps shannon um, I don't know if you've sent a comment. I haven't seen anything come through, but I haven't um, I haven't uh, had a look properly. How can I open up to my spirit guide? Oh, that's a whole nother session. A whole nother session, Paula. I will be running a course on it in my workshop this year. Um, so, yeah, it'll probably be in a couple of months. But, yeah, I would say join uh, my group and um, you'll... Um, yeah, be able to see that there'll be a few different uh, little workshops throughout the year that I'll be running this um, this year, which will be great. And one of them is about how to connect and, and meet your spirit guides, which is cool. Um, oh. oh, yes, it is. That could be the milk, 100%, because sometimes people think that's what they're bringing through but sometimes they're bringing it through because they were there with you um so they show me little things that they've seen or you know that they were there with you from so yes if it's recent and something like that yes 100 percent. um that would be what it is yeah so you're very very welcome i'm so um I'm so I'm so glad it was spot on and you could take some clarity from it and I hope you feel a bit better but I'd say step into your power 100 percent step into your power Um, all right let me do i'm gonna do um ashley norcott just now and then i'm gonna come back to belinda mackie if she's still on hopefully um i i haven't forgot you belinda haven't forgot you at all just let me know if you're still on though lovely um, Ashley, so there's something about mental health. Your mum passed away nine years ago yesterday. Um, you're just looking for a little bit of guidance. I That's what I take from all of it, I think. So let me see what I can bring. Um, is there a Tyler or something around you, a T name? Oh, you're still on, Belinda. Thank you. Awesome. Um, yeah, they're just showing me a T name. T, like Tyler or Ty or... I don't know, but a T name. If you don't know who it is, just keep it open because they're showing me a, a T. Um, and there's going to be a significance to that. So I want you to just keep that open. A Troy, okay. How close are you to Troy? Like who is he to you? Is it just a friend? Because I want to say there's a sense of maybe, um, I don't know if it's going down the wrong path or making some uh, irresponsible decisions perhaps. Um, but yeah, there's something about someone in spirit being worried about the tea. Um, oh, your partner's best mate. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's something about someone in spirit worrying about his decision making. Um, Did someone's body break down on them so they couldn't play footy? Well, they couldn't do something like footy. It might, might be soccer or something, but I keep getting footy. Um, and there's a sense of like, I couldn't do it with my knees or my ankles or something about my body not allowing me to do it. Um, they're talking about someone having quite, being quite talented, um, but not being able to pursue it for whatever reasons. Um, interesting i don't know what that's about but just hold on to it anyway um so the cards i got for you is dove so it's take a leap of faith um so there's something about um something you don't think is going to happen is actually going to happen so keep the door open don't shut the door uh, to anything the dove is all about taking a leap 
no that's okay Ashley just hold it open um, I don't know if it's someone in spirit telling me about them or it's them telling me someone um, here but they're talking about someone that was talented um, and there's a sense of football being or a sport um, and the body broke down and couldn't uh, but it's someone who would have gone to higher levels so it's somebody who would have been you know really good at what they what they did so I feel like it's more of a passing not something now but um, just hold it anyway um, so it might make sense at some level um who got somebody sick around the tummy area ashley i feel like i can't breathe and i feel sick oh your uncle tony cricket player okay well yeah right t name maybe as well um but there's also another t name that there's something about making sure he's making better decisions so um but yeah it's interesting because i saw two t's and that it was uh i just saw it like ty or tyson or whatever um but yeah there was two t's so that might be one for your uncle and one um for your partner's best friend um there's a sense of just wanting him to make better decisions so um that's what they want that's what they want uh you to know about um there's something about the stomach and breathing uh, hard to breathe, feeling sick. Do you know what that is? Or I was feeling sick and then I can't breathe. Um, there's a sense of uh, eating stuff even when I shouldn't have been. It's like I'm eating and I shouldn't have been. Or I was eating something I shouldn't have. Um, there's a sense of I shouldn't be eating this. Um, so, yeah, there's something about that as well. Um, the next one is keep your temper. So don't allow anger to rule you. So if you're feeling a little bit up and down with emotions, um, just try and keep your temper under wraps. So it's like, um, you know you know taking yourself to a quiet space just to cook before you cool down it's not about reacting emotionally it's about responding from a, a, a proper place like it's like don't uh you know get into fights with the person you love the most or don't take it out on the person you love the most there's a sense of you know having to have those sacred spaces to go so that you've got a place to go to um and this is really important for you because you know it, it can go from one to ten quite quickly either for you or someone close to you this is someone who can go from one to ten quite quickly um and then everyone's like what well, what happened like i don't get what just happened um but uh the next one is the world so congratulations Congratulations on successfully completing what you set out to do. You've made it through the challenges <clears throat> challenges, and incorporated the lessons life has offered you with grace and courage. We are so proud of you. So this is about someone being very, very proud of you and they want you to know that, Ashley, is that you've uh, overcome a lot of things um, and you've come to the point where, you know, um, you've, you've been able to go down the wrong path and you've chosen the other path. There's a sense of I made a good decision in a bad um, situation. So um, there is a sense of that being the case um so someone's very proud of what you've accomplished uh there is also something about a child um there is something about a little boy so i don't know if that's for you or someone close to you but there is something about um young mother with a young boy so just keep that open if you don't know what i'm talking about um but yeah i appreciate thank you for letting me read for you as well um i'm running way behind um belinda mackie i'm just going to draw one for you i can't uh, scroll and find you but i want to just draw a card for you son so open your heart to the enormous growth ahead so yes there's learning on the cards learn all you can open yourself up to what's possible and uh what's coming out of this there's something about the sun, sun shining brightly now when the sun comes out it means growth learning um knowing knowledge is power it's like i'm starting to know who i am i'm starting to grow um spiritually so which is fantastic move Moving forward get ready for positive change so it's like you know full steam ahead um, which is fantastic and the next one is um, you may receive a promotion be chosen for a school be chosen for a scholarship um, or find out that you've signed that you're singled out for any sort of special recognition you've done an amazing job and you deserve all the attention so this is about things uh maybe not being recognized at one point this is saying uh this is uh, definitely a time of being recognized someone's going to bring it to your attention um and this is the important time for you to communicate clearly be objective and unemotional it's um it's time to act professionally as possible if you need advice seek out the most experienced expert you can find it's time to start your journey so 
there are some beautiful things there for you. I would say, yes, you are open. I mean, everyone is, is psychic. Everyone has abilities and gifts, but it's like some of us have more strength in certain areas than others. And it's about really, it's, it's like the brain. It's a muscle that needs to continue to be used. So, you know, you can shut it down and you can become dormant or you can open it up and seek what whatever realm you want so you know that's what I do on my page I'm going to be running lots of workshops I've got one at the moment I'd love you to join if you want to it's going to be amazing um, I've got two different dates uh, one on the 6th of June and one the week after um, so I think it's like 13th or something um, on a Sunday and it is um, a two-hour workshop and it is going to be about claiming your intuition so check that out it's on the top of my group I would love you to join so it is going to change your life if it's something you really want to tap into and if it's something you've got and you want to know more about I promise you it will change your way of thinking it will change your life you will love it you'll walk away very very different to what you walked in so um, it's all done online too so it doesn't matter where you are in the world um, we can all do it together so it's going to be fun it's going to be interactive it's going to be really really cool I cannot wait so I hope you can join guys but until then take care um, I, I really do send all my love and all all my healing to anyone that needs it at the moment so I send all of you love and light um, now and always have a great week ahead and a great weekend in front of you and enjoy every single day Mwah, much love see you next tuesday bye guys